how's it going? I'm back for my second video. So, since the last time, I made a little bit of money. I sold some of the milk that the cows are producing. And I also sold two trailers of manure at the biogas plant, which was quite nice. I also swapped my old slurry tanker out for this new one. I didn't like the animation of the old one. It was just a single wave. This kind of sprays out from left to right continuously. So I like it because you can see, you know, your lines of where you're spraying out, which helps a lot. I also think it looks really good. It's detailed and obviously it supports the new pump mod, the newer mod, slurry mod, whatever you want to call it. So I also took out a loan and bought fields 33 and 34. I turned the soil on 34, spread some lime and then planted the grass back in. And I also slurried spread 32 and 31 so they'll be ready for do some baling on. I'm probably going to do 21 on this field here as hay and 33, 34, 32 and 31 as grass silage bales. I planted some canola in field one and I plan on planting some canola in field two. So today we're going to do some field work. I'm going to turn the soil on 33, spread some lime on it and then replant the grass ready for the baling. And I'm also going to try and do the canola on field two. So let's start. So we'll go and get the fast track. No, sorry, not the fast track. That's the fast track. Um, tell you what, I'll take that up there. Take that up to where the fence is, the big tractor. The most powerful one. We'll, we'll need that one for turning the soil over with the subsoiler. So this is the vent, 1050, beast, massive tractor, really powerful. This is a mod, just means I think with the mod it's pretty standard, but it just means it's got more brake horsepower. Hey, oh, wrong one. There we go. Off. There we go, hooked up, ready to go. Let's go to field 33. See the grass is growing really nice there after I slurried it. I mean, turned it as well around the edges because um, when I bought it, it needed lime spreading on it, so I had to turn the soil. It's ready for harvest as well. It's not. It's 67%. Quite dry, the ground is. 4% moisture. So it's only a small field, so it won't take too long. Shut the gate. And um, start. So I'll speed this up. See you in a bit.
so done that now fold this up open up the gate we'll go take it back we'll park it up and then I will get the lime spreader and we'll quickly spread the field that was one of the easiest fields I've ever had to plough in and cultivate at the same time that's the, the beauty of a subsoiler it allows you to plough and cultivate um, just get ready for planting really the only thing you can't do with it is um, create fields so you do need a plough on its own just for that and cultivators I've found are faster they have a faster working speed tight squeeze isn't it go did it in the end so, hitch to that and we'll get the spreader out I'll um, part this up and we will use the fast track can handle that switch it to all steering which helps a lot maneuvering on here and then obviously when we get back on the road we'll switch back to just front wheel ready to go. It's already got lime in. This should only take seconds. Okay, again. Unfold it. We'll start. I'll speed this up. So, we'll now get back in the fence and we'll plant the grass. And that should do it for the fields until the grass starts growing, then I'll uh, spread some slurry on it and we'll hopefully get a nice crop for the bales. Get a nice amount of silage from it. It's all hooked up, set on grass.
should be all right for fertilizer and seed in the machine so what I'll do is I'll fill it up after this for when we start on the canola because I'll definitely need it for that that go shut the gate drop it down and turn it on and as always I'll speed this up That's that, we'll fold it back up. While that's doing that, I'll open the gate. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take it back, fill it back up with seed and fertilizer, we'll change it over to canola, and we'll go down to field number two and we'll start on that. Now obviously that's a lot bigger field, it's an arable field, so I usually save my big one fields for that. Try and get more money in. See the seed bags are going in, filling up. Right, so we'll put some solid fertilizer in. I should have a little bit left over here. There we go. I'll change it. Oh, it's the wrong button. <laughs> Still all that back up. There we go. It's set to canola now. A mess up, but should be alright. Right, we're ready. Let's go plant this field out. I mean, I'm already in late spring, it's a bit late to start planting. It's nearly summer already, but 
the farm work itself, you can have some cows, it takes a lot of time and I've been trying to prep the other fields for um, for the grass salad. At least I've done this field. Hold it and I'll um, lower it down, set it going, and that's that. So I'll speed this up and I will see it then. Right, so that field's now done. Canola's in it, planted. Yeah. So, thanks for watching. Goodbye.